For those of you that wonder how I run this layout, I do not have DCC yet. Everything is variable DC with several transformers running. Um, right now there's two halves of the layout. The half in front of me and the half in back. And the main line is split up. And we have two transformers running each side of the layout and that's what these AB switches are right here. On the side that I'm running, and I typically run, the B side is the walk-around transformer, which you can hear the fan running in the background. The A side of the switches are run off this little <clears throat> sound and power uh, transformer. It's, it's pretty powerful for a small one. It's a lot more powerful than the Tech 2 but not as powerful as the walk around which the walk around on this side here you can really see it in there but it's in there it's a MRC Control Master 20 it's got a lot of power that's why that fan's so loud I can run I think 20 locomotives on it before it uh, cuts out so pretty good on that and can't forget the horn anyway and on the other side which Rich normally runs on, which is the forward side. Again, the, the block switches. And the walk around for that one is a Super Blue, which isn't quite as powerful as my Control Master 20, but it certainly does a pretty good job. And then an older Tech 2 which is good for about three or four locomotives for about 15 minutes. It's really only good for about two long term, but although that's with the older model Athens, the, the newer stuff is much better and the Atlas doesn't draw as much, so it'll probably run more. And then to run this side over here, which is the Industries, I have this little transformer here that runs that. The other neat thing about it is I have A, B switches on this side as well, so I can also run it off Rich's equipment over here. So it can either run off the Tech 2 or the Walk Around by flipping these up to A and then flipping another switch over here will give this power. So. With that being said, you could run about five trains on this layout simultaneously with enough people. It does get a little tricky at times, but it can be done. And someday down the road I will upgrade the DCC, but as I've mentioned before, I've got almost 150 locomotives, so all those would have to have decoders and etc, etc. I'm trying to come up with a way of using one decoder and everything, and I've just about figured out how I'm going to do it. I like the Quick Plug Athern uh, decoders. I think it's uh, North Coast. It's a D14 SRJ, I think it is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I'm going to try to figure out how I can wire that in with all the locomotives that I have, including Atlas and older Atherns. That way I've got one decoder, so it's almost like a Dash 2 series. If the decoder goes bad, you pull out the decoder and pop in another one and reprogram it. Easy as that. 